คใหม่แล้วนะคะยินดีต้อนรับเข้าสู่ช่องเมย่าชิประจรลงเท้านะคะคลิปวิดีโอนี้เป็นคลิปตามใจคุณแม่ย่านะคะเพราะว่าเขาอยากให้มาดูสถานที่มิวเซียมนะคะในเขตที่มาอยู่นี่คือเรียกว่าพวองนะคะทางตอนใต้ของเพรสฝรั่งเศสแล้วก็ในช่วงต้นต้นศตวรรษที่19เนี่ยค่ะคือประเทศฝรั่งเศสถือว่าเป็นประเทศที่อยู่ใน agricultural นะคะเพราะฉะนั้นเราจะมาดูว่าในสมัยนั้นเนี่ยคนเขาใช้ชีวิตอยู่กันยังไงนะคะเดี๋ยวเราไปชมกันเลยนะคะแต่ว่าก่อนอื่นอย่าลืมสมมาสนะคะเวลาเราเข้าไปในสถานที่ราชการหรือว่าส่วนรวมอะไรอย่างเงี้ยค่ะเราต้องมีการสวมมาสก์นะคะตามกันมาเลยจ้าa l a m b i Yeah, here they make alcohol with that. Oh, this one. They make alcohol. What kind of alcohol? From wine. From But wine. There make, you go. They make alcohol. Yeah. The instruments are handmade. And this is to make olive oil. Oh, really? Yes. This big, they put the olives in, and then they. This wheel goes around and smashes it, and then it gets pressed with these little carpets. They press it. This one, yeah. this carpet. Yeah. The olive oil, the olives get picked in December, and then they get put in there and smashed, and then they get pressed. Mm. This is what is come come out from this. The olive, the this olives one. Come out, yes. The olives come out here in this hole. This is the jar where they put the olive oil. We have to keep the olive oil. We keep it in the cellar. Ah. In the houses. These things get filled with olives. Squash, yeah. and then they get pressed really hard, and the oil comes out. Ah. Ah. อันนี้ให้ดูภาพนะคะว่าตอนที่เขาเวลาเขาเก็บลูกเอ่อลูกโอลิฟเนี่ยค่ะเขาทำกันยังไง They call the montagne the m o r t and in this mountain, there are trees which have a, a rind. The trees have a rind. You see, and this gets they get cut off, and it's used to make corks, olive oil bottles, wine bottles. Yes. Is, you see the thing there. You can have various sizes of corks. Ah. Yes. Now, of course, they don't use this anymore. They make plastic, uh, pl plastic so, yes. corks. But this is much better. But sometimes, if there was a hole in there, mm -hmm. and air came in the bottle, then the wine would oxidize. Right. You see? Yeah, they cut. You see these big pieces of bark? Right there. I think they put them in water to make them flexible. And then they have a machine where they cut them to so, to squash them. Yeah, here you cut them first. They cut them square, and then they made yeah. them round. 
every village had somebody who made the shoes and repaired the shoes. Oh. Usually they use the hide from the cows. Right. In the town of Barjaules, where we go through, there was a tannery. This is where they made leather from the cow hides. See, and they have molds, and they mold the leather around these shoes and, and cut the pieces together with a pattern, with a big machine like that. The sheep give the wool and give the meat yeah. and the milk to make cheese. Very important. Yeah. So these are all things you use to, to cut off the wool. These are beehives. They also had bees. Oh, for bees. For bees. They had honey. They had no sugar here because sugar was made from sugar cane, which came from the West Indies. So they used or beetroot. And later on beetroot, but mainly they sweetened with honey. Mm. What's that bug? So this is where the 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 bees went inside here. This kind of oh. thing you put in here. And then the bees, look, inside they made things like that. You see, this is where the, the bees built this. Yes. These little cells. And in these little cells, they put the honey. Ah. And then you, the beekeepers, they have a machine. They turn it very, they put these honeycombs in and turn it very quickly and the honey comes out. And this is the show. To show you the bees. the bees. Anatomy. There is a male bee and a and a working class bee and the and the queen. The shepherd. The shepherd. Ah. The shepherd. He had a coat like that. To see him through the coat. Right. And then of course they made thread and the thread it would use to spin. And yes, you see the costumes of the old ladies. They are made in cotton. Oh, cotton. They are made in cotton. Famous for making, and there was mainly women who worked here, women and children. They cut out, they had a, look, they had... They had... Cows? They had clay like this? Yeah, they have a mool. They get this earth? They put, they put the earth, they put the clay inside this. See this iron frame? It looks like a mirror. Mm -hmm. Put the clay in there. And then take it out and dry it. And when it's dry, they, they fire it. Look there, they have this machine and they make out of the, the, this clay, they yeah. make these tiles and then they get burned in an oven. So they become hard. Mm. And this is how they make the tile. It's used to tile the floors, mm -hmm. the Provencal houses. What does one hunt here? You hunt in this region the wild boar. The rabbit, the deers, the fox, nobody eats foxes. <laughs> they shoot them, they shoot them, you see. They all have, in every farmhouse, above the chimney, people put a rifle. Oh. Yeah, Every home. Christmas they all put up a little village. Little with Jesus, with Mary, <laughs> little Joseph with some green uh, moose. It's a traditional thing. Yeah. Yes, they, do, they put this in, in their houses at Christmas. And they're handmade in the little shops here. Still today you get these guys making them. Oh really? Yeah, yeah I used to make this. The painting of a chapel. See, they're, they're, they're Jesus. inspired by the, when you go to Italy, you will find the churches, they're painted like that, they're frescoes. It's a special technique where you can paint on the wet walls, no? frescoes. And this is more the artistic aspect of the region. Kitchen. Look at the kitchen. And you used to cook, you see these holes there? You used to put your your pot on the on the square, yes. and the fire was underneath. Fire. And oh, the soup the and the soup you hang above and the cremaillère. You put it on the foot, yeah. on the tree pad, and you hang. Most of the uh, things were made out of clay. The bowls, the little pit pitchers, cupboards. 
These are the typical peasant tables and the cupboards. And this is the typical Provencal form of dishes, mm. which is Louis XV. The son of Louis XIV is this form. Oh. And I have, a, I have a thing like that in my kitchen. It used to be in my house. My house in Obst was a farmhouse of poor farmers. Mm. They had the donkey downstairs. There was, in my cellar was the oil and the wine. And upstairs in the attic, there was the hay for the donkey. Mm. Well, you, you see the various fireplaces. And you see the typical uh, cookers. These are cookers, like mm. there. Because you can make fire underneath and you throw it. These they come from they come from India, from Persia. Persia, because India. The, the minister the economy minister of Louis XIV, he forbade the import of Indian cottons. So they started to imitate them and print the patterns, Indian patterns, here. And look, this was a very famous art in Provence. You had material and you stitched this pattern in. You made yeah. these, these lines. It's called un piqué provençal. Don't slap in. Yeah. And typical provençal beds. Things for pharmacies, bottles, and you have oil lamps, you have all sorts of things. Yeah. And you, and the music is made with these drums and with these pipes. Yeah. This is Provencal music. They put, play music on the little pipe mm. and the drum. And he created pasteurization. If you boil things up to 100, ah. you can ah. kill on the germs. Ah. Well, the, farm, the farm ladies they make some pocket money by feeding the silkworm the leaves of the mulberry trees. Ah. And then they collect, when it's eaten enough, it makes a cocon. And yeah. then they collect the cocon and they are sent, they are sent to Lyon to make silk. This one, that's what they yeah. collect them. Um, collect them. Chocolat, poupier. Oh, yeah. This is an old shop. All the things you could buy. All the things you could buy. It's the old shop in. It's an old shop. Yeah. And and instead of fridges, you had. Okay. Mm. Look, do you see this metal cupboard? This is instead of a fridge, they had this. Ah. And they have a wire so that the rats can't get in and they keep the cheeses and the sausages in there. But what, what about when is it hot? When is it hot? Yeah. In the summer. There, they put in there. They put it in the cellar. They yeah. doesn't go bad? Well, you have to eat it quickly, yeah. It ah. goes crack more. I should take my to the catacomb. In Paris. Mm -hmm. uh, hold on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is the main entrance to the cave. Mm -hmm. And you can see what you can see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is interesting. This is the... Well, the wine isn't made in... Now they're made out of inox. Previously they were made out of wood. Mm. Once the wine was squashed, the liquid was put in here, 
and then until it had uh, reached a certain degree of fermentation, mm -hmm. it was put in the barrels. And it stayed in the barrels at least a year or so before you could fill it into a bottle. อืมนี่ค่ะเพื่อนๆเราอยู่ในเค้าเรียกว่าเซลล่านะคะตัวนี้เค้าจะใช้เก็บพวกเอ่อไวน์นะคะอยู่ลงมาตรงนี้คือแ